Good afternoon, this is Morgan with Finger Lakes Wine Country and today we have Kate. Hi. Christina. Hello. And we're here in the square uh, in Corning, New York to paint our lovely wine barrel for the Painted Wine Barrel exhibit that's starting July 3rd. So earlier today, um, we went to Lowe's and we went all, all shopping to get our primer, our paint, <laughs> our draw cloth. Uh, we're like a regular... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the first thing we need to do is actually prep our wine barrel. So we got some primer um, and we're going to have to get it covered and then we can attack with regular paint. Well, I bet you guys never thought you'd be spending your summer uh, painting a wine barrel. I don't think so. <laughs> and you get paid to do that's this. Fine. <laughs> that's true. That's nice. <laughs> On the bright side, and I get On paid to watch. On the bright side. Well, a lot of people have asked us if these wine barrels actually have wine in them. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, these are uh, empty Finger Lakes wine barrels. So they have already been emptied out at the winery, and the wine's been put into the bottle. And what we're doing is, is reusing these barrels. Normally, they get used as planters or garbage tails, and there's so many extra wine barrels floating around the Finger Lakes, not surprising with over 100 wineries, we decided to do an exhibit um, that showcases these barrels um, in a different way, and getting uh, Finger Lakes artists to paint um, the outside. Well, we're not uh, much of much of artists, <laughs> <laughs> but not by any means. <laughs> so we've actually chosen a really uh, simple theme for our barrel. Uh, we are going to be literally hand painting our barrel with our hands. With our hands. Uh, clever. <laughs> it's like kindergarten all over again. <laughs> and you're getting paid. And we're getting paid. <laughs> Can't beat it. We hold the barrel together, and if we took out the nails and took the rings off, this barrel would fall apart. So it's pretty amazing. Why don't they keep using the barrels? Uh, barrels last for about seven years in terms of giving oak flavor, and then they become neutral. And most winemakers um, uh, find it very hard to clean and almost impossible to sterilize uh, older oak barrels. So. Many times uh, winemakers will retire their barrels and then buy new ones. And so that's why a lot of wineries often have these old barrels lying around. Um, and, you know, if you're interested in, in barrel art at your own house, um, you often can, can acquire a used barrel from a winery for about $50. And what we're going to be doing with our painted barrels, there's going to be over 30 barrels in the exhibit, and the, each barrel will be auctioned off on the PaintedBarrels.com website through a silent auction, and 50% of the proceeds will be uh, shared with the artist. And in our case, um, our 50%, if our barrel does sell, uh, we are going to donate. When? When your barrel sells? <laughs> when our barrel sells <laughs> for lots of money, uh, we are going to be uh, splitting our proceeds with uh, a local charity. So it's all for a good cause. <laughs> We're choosing to paint the barrel with uh, an oil-based primer, and this allows uh, the moisture, uh, because there is some condensation within the barrel, so protecting it with an oil-based oil sealer, it keeps the moisture inside, so whoever buys the barrel, if it's moved inside, it won't cause any uh, staining inside a house or on a wood floor. And that's one of those details I would have forgotten to check out. <laughs> yeah. Make them yeah. Hey, you got three thumbs? Yeah, I already got some. Yeah, I'll go for it. <laughs> I don't think that we're going to escape it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this barrel is made by a cooper, and a cooper is a barrel maker. And this was made uh, by a, a cooperage called Canton Barrels. 
and they are made in the United States and they're one of the most famous barrel makers in, in the world. Barrels can be sourced from the United States um, as well as France and Hungary now is a country that's producing some quality uh, wine barrels. Wine barrels are also always uh, made out of oak. Um, you don't ever see pine, it's too soft of a wood. Um, what differentiates a good barrel from a bad barrel? Well, it comes back to the skill of the cooper, and um, coopers study uh, as apprentice for a long time to learn the skills, it's like being a, a furniture maker. Um, and in France, it's a highly regarded um, craft, and also the, the source of oak is important. Um, in France, there is limited supply of oak. Uh, available, so uh, it does drive the price up, um, and there is um, some correlation between price and quality. People think if something is more expensive, then it's of higher quality. For the Finger Lakes Wine Country Paint Barrel, we have opted for four summer colors, and this one is a really bright yellow. Um, kind of reflective of, the, of a lot of the flowers and just really summer, good summer colors. Um, it's doing a purple, a bright green, and an orange too. We have a winery here uh, in the Finger Lakes it's called Lakewood Vineyard, and I had talked earlier about where the wood is from, and they source wood from New York State. So talk about local barrels. Um, and then they have a cooper in Pennsylvania that um, makes it into a barrel. So we're getting ready to put our hands into the paint and hand paint our barrel. So we're pretty excited. Kate and I were just talking about how fun this is going to be. So here we go. I don't know how much to put on. I know I need it. <laughs> Trial and error thing. Exactly. Definitely. It reminds me of kindergarten. It is. Like how long has it been since oh, you got to do this? I know. Are you doing this random? Yeah. I think kind so. Of. Freeform. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My kids are going to be so jealous. They are. I know. Everyone yeah, I've been telling today. Exactly. It's just fun activity for even a family to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's a great way to support a uh, local charity and, and do kind of family activities. I'm going to switch it up and go over there. That sounds good. Yeah, and I'll swing around yeah. here. Oh, I love that. I know. I was awesome. mixing it up. <laughs> I figured orange and orange can't go too bad here, together. I'll try to do peace sign. Things turn out too well. <laughs> 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 I like the uh, color scheme. Good choice. I did too. Yeah. It looks very summery. Mm -hmm. Even just with the orange and yellow. Who wouldn't want this barrel? <laughs> yeah, I know. For a lot. I got a good feeling about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had a good feeling. Especially if we uh, let them know that we did it. Yeah. <laughs> then it's even more priceless. You guys are going to sign it too, right? <laughs> <laughs> so how many artists are doing this? We are going to have close to 30 artists. Wow. And the exciting thing is that they're all finger length artists. Oh, that's cool. How did they find out about it? Uh, well, we, we have a website, and that's uh, paintedbarrels.com, mm -hmm. and we sent out an email to our wine trails and uh, wineries and art associations to put in a call for artists and, and venues. Mm -hmm. And we're also really excited, the Rockwell Museum right here in Corning is doing kind of a western-themed barrel. Oh, that's and, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. And given Corning and the Corning Museum of Glass, mm -hmm. we're actually going to have a special barrel uh, from the Glass Museum. And what was that domain name again? That's paintedbarrels.com. Easy. Easy. Easy to remember. And we're also really excited to announce uh, Mackenzie Child yeah. in Aurora, the famous pottery company, is doing awesome. a barrel. So, with their famous black and white check header. That's awesome. You know well, thanks for joining Team Wine Country here in downtown Corning as we painted our uh, painted barrel. Beautiful hand-painted barrel. Hand-painted, that's the operative hand term. <laughs> and remember, for more details on the exhibit and the participating venues and who's painting the barrel, visit paintedbarrels.com.